Hello, 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 everyone. I am so glad to see you guys. I got some glass in today. I'm really excited. I wanted to uh, just share with you guys. I've been making all these videos with a whole bunch of clear and making a whole bunch of cane, which involves a lot of clear. And I found myself quickly running out of the little that I had left. So I'm glad I got this. I got it just in time. I get all my glass from France Art Glass. France Art Glass, I guess they call it France Beads. I don't know, that's what it says here on the box. France Bead Company, but I know them as France Art Glass. Anyway, the other places just don't tend to have the variety that I'm looking for, the prices as well, because there's a lot of deals and specials. And uh, they're really awesome to work with. And I've been working with them and getting glass from them for at least for the last 15 years. I used to get glass from France and they would put uh, candies in the box, like little hard candies. I love that. However, they don't do that anymore. I guess that's not the kosher. All right, let's see what we got here. I got more than just glass color rods. Ooh, okay. This is all beautifully packed as well. I got some different type of uh, bead release this time. I usually use Foster Fire Smooth and Tough bead release, but this time I got Foster Fire Heavy Duty bead release. I tend to find that uh, it does dry out if you don't keep it like airtight, and even then you have to add water to it every now and then. Silver foil. This is awesome. I love using silver foil, but I only go with the foil. I never use the silver leaf. It's just never enough. So, yay. I've been wanting to cut some glass, and then I found that my, my little rod nippers, one of the discs, broke. So I got replacements for that. Damn, these are huge. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys know about that color, Evil Purple. Yes, let me show you. So I got two of these pieces. In order for me to make use of these because they're so thick, I will cut them down into pieces and heat them up in my annealer and pull rods out with them. What a cool color this is. Look at the... Uh, I know I'm a little shaky, but look at the side view of that. That's cool. What I'm really looking for is a really good, I think everybody is looking for the perfect opaque purple. I'm looking for it too. So if you know of one, let me know. All right, what else is here? sorts of rods here that we'll look at real quick. <laughs> Yay, just in time. Clear, clear, clear. Lots and lots of clear. Black and white. Five to six millimeter white. White number 204. It's the only solid white that I use. Seriously, the best. This one is larger, as you can see. It's Number 064, Fetri Black. I feel like I should have gotten more of this, but it's three pounds of the Fetri Super Clear, number 006. And you think three pounds is gonna be plenty? It'll last a while, I'll make it last. All right, now let's uh, look at this color that I got real quick. I got some new color that I've never used and I always like to do that whenever I buy color. Even if it's just one color that I've never used or is like maybe just a quarter pound of something that's like really expensive that I can't afford, I'll just like get a small amount of it. Okay, so I got pretty much all opaques this time. I have plenty of transparents, but um, I have been in need of a few opaques, and these are the ones that I got. Let me show you. All right, so um, in an earlier video that I did, 
I was using an orange that was kind of sparkly and I only had a little bit of that rod left and I couldn't figure out what it was. And from the, from the comments, you guys are helping me out. I got the name of this color. And so I immediately wanted to get more. This is a carrot red sparkle and it is a Vetrifond odd color. Uh, the number that I have here is 791961. There it is, the carrot red. I just love th that this color has a sparkle to it. It's so different from Adventurine Sparkle. It's just a lot more subtle, but it's just, oh, it's just so cool. I got this Ephetri color called Sedona that looked kind of interesting. And this number is 257B. Yes, very interesting. I'll let you guys know how this turns out. What's this? This is called... Huh. Marmo Torchens. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a, uh, it's kind of a marbled blue. I think it means uh, turquoise marble. And it reminded me of the sky, like with wispy white trails. And I just had to try it. So this is 298 Marmo Turchese, Turchez. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's this nice blue. Now there you have, there's a couple copper colors out there like copper green, copper red green, copper green green, red red red, <laughs> you know, all these copper green colors. This one is green copper red. 591299 Ephetri. All right, ooh, I had to get a pound of this. This is this is one of the ones I've been wanting to see. Look at how cool this is. I love this color. Just holding it is fun. Um, it's called Sh Cherry Shake. It is a an Ephetri cool color. Five nine one six eight two number six eight two. Cherry Shake. In the picture, it looked like it had stripes of white, pink, and orange in it. And it just looked super cool. So yeah, I'm gonna try this out. Let you know how it is. I'll do a review on this color. Uh, let me see. And then, last but not least, here's my expensive, expensive color. This is Oracle Opal Double Helix. Yes, I got some double helix. I thought I could afford a little bit this time, which doesn't happen very often. They're really super special colors, and this one is supposed to look like opal. I've been looking for a different type of white to use, and I think that this might work out pretty cool. We'll see, anyway. There, that's my color that I got in, you guys. My color and uh, my special um, extra things. Let me know if you have any of these colors and what you think about them in the comments. I'm always interested in what you guys are up to and doing. So keep me in the loop. We'll see you next time.